When you try to turn water into steel The energy that you supply raises it to 100 degrees But when you reach that point, that boiling point The graph will flatten its temperature briefly won't rise And that is what we see Even though we're still supplying energy Oh, what can it mean? Oh, when you expect the temperature to rise but it don't Well, is why I the energy change that occurs affects potential energies of particles which then allow your substance to change state. While the kinetic energies stay the same. Johnny Cheese Media presents. Detective Inspector S.L. Heat and Sergeant Celsius watches our heroes attempt to apprehend this mysterious and dastardly felon as he tries to cross the New York border into Pennsylvania in the changing of states. When you're changing state, the kinetic energies remain the same, and the energy that you supply will alter the potential energies of the particles inside so the internal energy is gonna change because it's the sum of both energies so if potential alters internal will too because kinetic stays the same but still contributes and we can work out the energy change that occurs by thinking about specific latent heat for a specific latent heat or vaporization tells us the energy needed to change the state of one kilogram of a certain substance whether that's liquid to gas or vice versa SLH of fusion is very similar except for the solid to liquid transition incorporated in a very special equation Q equals ML is our great saviour energy required is equal to the mass time specific latent heat that you choose and the one that you choose depends on the transition solid, liquid, liquid, gas, whatever's in the question and you plug in your numbers, rearrange if you need it hey presto, that's your answer, wasn't that easy? What can it mean? Oh, when you expect the temperature to rise but it don't well it's why I the energy change that occurs affects potential energy to particles which then allows your substance to change state hey. While the kinetic energies remain the same